Robert Louis Stevenson, one of Scotland's greatest authors, once noted that it is the mark of the Scots of all classes that he stands in an attitude towards the past unthinkable to Englishmen and remembers and cherishes the memory of his forebears, good or bad, and there burns alive in him a sense of identity with the dead even to the twentieth generation. Welcome to our Youngs of Scotland presentation. One of the more important traditions of the Scots is pride in their surnames and families, or clans, as they were known in ages past. What does the surname Young mean to you? It should evoke the same pride and heritage as any Scottish surname. Why, you ask? Because the Youngs have played a long and significant role in the history of the land of our forefathers. They played their part in building this great nation, fought its battles, rejoiced in its successes, and felt its sorrows. For a thousand years they have been born here and been laid to rest beneath its soil. Nowhere were bonds of country and clan felt more strongly than in the ancient kingdom of Scotland. Come join us now for a journey back into time. A journey to refresh lost memories and to rekindle the pride once known by one of our most famous forebears, George Young, who was said to have loved his surname best in all Scotland. The text Scottish Surnames notes that the surname Young is the 15th most common surname in Scotland and around Edinburgh it is the 13th most common. In fact the surname Young is more common in Edinburgh than in any other city in the world. These borderers, both Scots and English alike, were known as the Border Reavers. From the time of the Scottish War of Independence until the early 1600s, the borders, or debatable lands as they were also called, lived a way of life quite different from that of the rest of the land. Although Highland Games may be the highlight of the Gaelic cultural festivals, it is the common ridings that have been long celebrated on the borders. Here they have a love for the horse that runs deep in their blood to this very day. It is here that the youngs gathered to such a great extent that they were recognized as a clan. They were a hard lot, but they had to be, for their enemies were just as hard. Like most other clans of the area, 
They were caught up in the wars between the two kingdoms, the cross-border raiding, the blood feuds, and the clan alliances that have been the way of the border life since long before any written records had been kept. When good records first emerged in the 1400s and early 1500s, we find the Youngs had congregated in the Beaumont Valley, just east of the village of Moorbattle and south of Yetholm. 